followed by elation, obviously, and, um, you know, I, I was just, it could have been any one of the team that were here, it just turned out that I was one of, um, you know, four guys that um, that were fortunate enough to go through that door and, and make that rescue, um, but, you know, um, we had always hoped for that outcome, and but still, you just, we're not prepared for it, so, yeah, it was absolutely fantastic, and originally it was, um, you know, to, to see her um, sitting there, and, you um, in the way that she was, it was just yeah, incredible. What did she say to you, Kev? What did she say to you? Um, well, I asked her what her name was. Um, one of the guys jumped in in front of me and um, and picked her up, and and I, you know, I just wanted to be absolutely sure that um, you know it certainly looked like Cleo. Um, I wanted to be absolutely sure it was her, so I said, "What's your name?" And she didn't answer, and I said, "What's your name?" <laughs> um, she didn't answer again, so I asked her a third time, and then she looked at and looked at me, and she said, "My name's Cleo." And it was, um, and that was it. So, uh, then we turned around and um, and walked out of that house. And um, not long after that, got into the car, and um, the, the uh, officer I was with, Detective Sergeant Hutchinson, um, who was the family liaison officer, um, called uh, Cleo's parents and said, "We've got someone here that wants to speak to you." And it was, um, you know. A wonderful feeling to be able to, to make that call. So, what was their reaction? <laughs> oh, you can imagine, just absolute surprise, and, and they were ecstatic. So, um, things developed so quickly. Um, you know, we didn't really give, have time to prepare them, and certainly didn't want to give them any false ex- expectations about what might happen. We didn't know ourselves, so you know, it's a, um, it's always a, a delicate process, you know, when it comes to that. So, you know, but still to be able to give them that news, and, and then. Um, say, you know, please start making your way to the hospital, we'll meet you there. Um, it was fantastic. And can I say, having seen her a couple of times this morning, um, she's a little energ- energizer bunny, and she, you know, how she has that much energy, I wish I did, I'm, I'm about ready to go to sleep. But uh, <laughs> she was, um, yeah, so just a very, very sweet, um, energetic girl, um, very, very trusting and very open with us. Um, you know, we all wanted to take turns in holding her. <laughs> um, so, yeah, it was, it was yeah, a really good experience. Was she physically okay? She physically She's physically okay. okay. Yeah, and, and that yep, yeah. and that was that was evident from the start. Um, uh, and you know, taking to the hospital, I guess, was you know assurance of that from the people that know what they're doing. We've so. spoken about Cleo's parents' reaction to hearing the news, but what was Cleo's reaction to seeing her parents for the first time? Oh, yeah. mummy, <laughs> <laughs> big hugs, kisses, um, yeah. yeah, and lots of tears. You know, so. As you can expect, you know, it was, um, Is this the best moment of your career? Oh, without a doubt. 